Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to explore a tool to very quickly delineate streams and catchments from a digital elevation model. We're going to use a tool from Hatari Labs. Hatari Labs, run by Sol Montoya, offers great courses on groundwater using open source software. They've developed Hatari utils that run online. And as they claim here, the least painful tool for advanced hydrological analysis. So let's see if that's true. Click the sign in login button and there sign in at Haptari Labs apps account. Click continue. And there, if you're new, click register. Fill in the registration form and click register. Then you verify your account and click sign in to use the apps. Currently you can create only one project. Click add project and give the name of the model that you're working on. And I'm gonna call it Ruhr and the model description Ruhr Catchment. These are mandatory fields. Then click edit to work on your project. Here you see that you can choose from different apps from Hatari Labs, and we're going to use the first one, Watershed Delimitation. Now click on Watershed Delimitation to start the app. The first thing you need to do is to upload a DEM file. This can be in any projection, but it accepts around 10 megabyte GeoTIFF files. And after uploading, it pre-processes the files, and then you can see the result here with the flow direction and the flow accumulation. That's exactly what you can also find under the pre-process tab. Now let's go to the delineation tab. There it will load the map with the stream network delineated already for you. And you can use this map to specify your pore point and will only accept it when you click on the line and you can see how the hand changes. Then if you click, it will add the coordinates in latitude and longitude independent of the input data that you've used. And there you see the result, the delineated catchment, the stream network, and uh, the main river. Then go to basin stats. And there you find the main statistics of this catchment, including some metrics. If you go to river profile, you find the elevation over the distance along the river. And under time of concentration, you can find the time of concentration with different uh, methods. For example, here peach. Now click the download tab. This will download a zip file with all the generated data. Let's check this data after extracting the zip file in QGIS. Under input, you find your input DEM. And under process, you can find the result shapefiles. Let's drag them to the map canvas. Here we have our catchment. And note that the results are in the same projection as your input DEM. So in this case, it's EPSG 4326. But I want to visualize it in UTM zone 32 because then it looks better. So I change the on the fly reprojection. And I'm going to add here the other layers. Main river doesn't show up because the projection is not detected river basin and river network so the layers that have a projection they show up uh, nicely let's uh, style them so choose a simple blue line for the river network if i go to the attribute table you see that it only has a fid and it does not have strata orders or anything else it's just a stream network then the river basin Choose there the FID and I can use random colors. It will show a random color for each uh, tributary which has its own sub basin. But it doesn't delineate each uh, sub basin there. And then for the main river, there's this question mark which means that the uh, projection is not defined and I need to use there the projection of uh, the original input which is EPSG 4326. And there I see the main river. And also that attribute table has only ID and distance. 
and let's use a simple line for the outline of the catchment boundary. So these are the results. Now I'm going to do another one. Remember, you can only make one project. So I delete uh, the one that I have and I create a new one. And I'm going to use the Gold Creek in Australia. And I'm going to uh, show how it works when your DEM is already projected. Click Edit. Click Watershed Delimitation to go to the app. Choose the DEM and click Upload. There it generates the result of the pre-processing. So there's the flow direction and the flow accumulation. You see here that it says latitude longitude, but in fact it also shows the uh, UTM coordinates and the flow direction legend is based on the ArcGIS encoded. So one, two, four, etc. Now go to the delineation tab. There we see the river network. And I'm going to click there on the port point. It takes the coordinates there. That's in latitude longitude, although the input is in UTM. And I click define watershed. And there it nicely delineates the catchment and shows the mainstream and the river network. I'm going to download it and then visualize it in QGIS. There's our input file in UTM coordinates. And there I'm going to add each layer again. Catchment, main river, river basin, and the river network. And now uh, the main river was in the same projection but it's not known, but so it shows up at the right spot because we didn't change the on-the-fly root projection like previously. So this works nicely. I think a very nice and quick way to delineate streams and catchments if you don't want to go through all the steps uh, in QGIS for doing that. Um, the disadvantage is that there's a limitation of the size that you can uh, upload for the DEM and you have no control on the algorithms that are used. So uh, some study areas need specific approaches, uh, specific algorithms to be used. And uh, therefore, I think it's also important to know the processing steps in GIS to derive streams and catchments. I can recommend to follow Hatari Labs on social media and uh, find out about their tutorials and their super nice courses on groundwater and open source GIS. And uh, I hope you like this video and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. And also notice that from now on, you can also become a member of my YouTube channel, which gives some advantages, but more about that later.